Hello, 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 everybody. I am Neon Icy Wings, and we are continuing our little adventure here in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. Today has been a bit meh, so we're just going to go and have a nice relaxing time. Do some mount, no, well not mount, but these four sinister woods. I do, I do have an escape orb. Do I, did, no, I, need, I need to go grab that escape orb. I forgot. I was gonna go do the escape orb mission and then the frickin, we got ran out of town. And well, we'll also take a power band because we're gonna give one to fate. Almost forgot that. And we need an escape orb for the dude. There we go. Check inventory and missions. One escape orb and then just other such things. Uh, check the... No, not you. But got our gravel rocks, got our berries, a max elixir, a power... Oh, we actually did have a power band for fate. Me doom. Me dumb. Sorry, Mrs. Kangaskhan. I am just... Brain is mush. Due to the way of today. And we're... Uh, Fate should be a team member now, right? Fate should be a team member. It would be oh so mean. If Fate did not get added. Nope, Fate is added. Yay. Ooh. Neat place. Yo, Fate. It may want a gummy, but I don't have any gummies for you. Ooh, this is interesting music. Kind of medieval. Come along, fate. We're going on adventures. Darkness Ridge. That's an interesting name. But okay, let's triple check things, because Things have been mad. Summary. My IQ is two. Oh no. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> Becomes terrified and flees when HP gets low. Leaders will resist this urge. Yeah. <laughs> Joined rescue team at question mark, question mark, question mark. Let's see. Uh... Stamina band. I guess I'll keep. Oh, that's right. I'm triple dumb. My ultimate plan of, uh, if things get bad, I'm gonna have an extra power band on me to swap between. Uh, my Once again, my brain is mush and I can hardly remember my own plans. Ah, this is a... Wonderful game. Wonderful, wonderful game. But now that everything should be ultimately... Since I have the stamina band, I'm going to... Oh yeah, and uh, let's take a quick look at Shane. What moves do you have? And then... Bullet Seed. Info. It is a 10 power point move. So I need to be careful on what I get rid of for shame. Honestly, quick attack, because... Eh, yeah, I we'll guess we'll get rid of quick attack. And besides, we can remind it later. Yo, Shane. Forget that quick attack. Use this bullet seed. Used TM. The remains of the item Bullet Seed after use can be restored using the move Recycle. This item can't be placed in storage? That's kind of weird. It can be restored using the move Recycle. Ha. Weird. Can't be placed in storage? Then I guess I'll hold on to it. And if we get an ally in this 
Sinister Woods, I'll just hand it off to a, a new recruit and they can hold on to it for a million years. Anyway, let's go. Sinister Woods, floor one. All right, first things first. Extra power band shall go to fate. How dare you throw rocks at the boy. Man, I just realized I have more health than Shane does. When did that happen? Did I just become too powerful? The one downside is that this is the diddly dang forest. And I think it's the one that repeats music a million times. Hello, Swinub. I shall quick attack you for funsies. Luckily, my stamina band should keep us from going hungry for a while. Another quick attack, because I find it funny. Come to me, so that you can just face oblivion. And what's that? Another bloody blast seed! I don't like blast seeds. Blasted blast seed! They don't do anything! I don't know how they properly work. Like, I don't know, in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon tier list, where does... Blast Seeds fall as an item. Also, why is Swinub in Sinister Forest? Come to think of it. Swinub is an ice Pokemon. It becomes a mammoth. Or at least a mammoth facsimile. Why is the diddly dang... I think I did a good job picking Bullet Seed as a thing for Shane. Now I just need to hope that Shane actually makes good use of it. <laughs> the AI, my partner AI. You wanted a gummy here, you can have a gummy. Yo. Haha, <laughs> his IQ rose. Beat up the rock man! For some reason, that kind of... What to call it? That violin breakdown... <laughs> a bit... Reminds me of, uh... Uh... Tales of Symphonia, for some reason. So something about how it's done makes me go, Ooh! How wondrous! How wonderful! I guess we'll come down here and beat up... Well, I was gonna say beat up the sleeping Pokemon, but it's just a tree, so... Well, it's not even a tree. It's a rock tree. It's Tree of Rock. It's a mountain. With pom-poms. For some reason. It is a very odd Pokemon. And that's why I named mine Brock. I'm just cruel like that. Wow, this is just Apple Galore. <laughs> At least this will add to my Apple collection. A fine addition to my collection. <laughs> General Grievous putting away an apple he bought at the store. Oh, that'll work. <laughs> now, my boy can just go annihilate full fools from a million miles away. Wonderful. He'll also waste a bunch of his power points with it, instead of saving it. Which I guess I could control, but we're not going to fight a boss yet. So I guess <laughs> only time will tell. Shane sees an enemy in the distance, and... <laughs> Neon, I crave violence, bullet seed. <laughs> Uh, it's am it amuses me immensely. Hello, Centric. 
coward! I'll pelt rocks at your head! You come up to me, you defense curl, and go, Mwaha, I cannot be touched. I headbutt you. And you go, oh no! Oh, well, it, it, it reminds me of an anime screen cap, but I forget the exact words. It's like, everything is going perfectly to plan. Oh no! He's going over the cliff. Oh! Splash. You don't need to do that! It is a cradle as a Pokemon! I don't want to micromanage your moves! I already had to do that by turning off Pursuit! Why? It's not even very effective. Screech and Pound would do more! Shane, why? <laughs> With great power comes great responsibility. And Shane is just like, but Neon, I am a gun now. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew. I have to kill you fast before he <laughs> just tries to get in position for ultimate murder. Uh, I do find it funny that I basically turned him into a gun. He's just like, now my rampage begins. He did it again! A cradle from across the, f the frickin' giant atrium room. It's just like, time to murder. I keep forgetting that there is a swap button. I would like to swap the cherry berry for this apple. Apple. Because it's a good apple. I am still disappointed that we didn't get to fight Alakazam's team. I would have wrecked his 5,000 IQ ass. I am the power. I am the Eevee. Although, seeing the little mini cutscene... Uh, what's this? <laughs> I still don't know. What are the mechanics of the diddly D? bring me an item, like if you don't have the item, and you still accept the mission, is there like a chance to find what you are you're supposed to give them on the mission or what? I don't know. I'm very unawares. Ooh, clear gummy. I forget. Is this the... I keep forgetting. There's the silver gummy. There's the white gummy. There's the clear gummy. There's the gray gummy. There's a million gummies that are kind of the same shade. And I've always left wondering... So is this the normal one? Or... I'm just gonna throw rocks at you. See, Shane? You don't need to be a gun. I have rocks. I still spent 6,000 Poké Dollars to get you, turn you into a gun, ice type. Hey, screw it, you, you, you can have this, you can have the clear gummy. You must become smarter! Ah, uh, we're only now getting hunger. I think we're going the... You picked a terrible choice. You have made a terrible decision today. All you had to do was join my team. I just realized something. We haven't run into a monster room yet. Hmm. I wonder. God dang it. Kind of makes me that I makes me wish that I was the Trico, because then I could have been the one to be like, enemies are lined up, firing the cannons, bloom bloom. This is just Apple Central. I mean, I get it; it's a forest, but I didn't expect there to be this many dang apples. Not that I'm complaining. It's just surprising. Wrong one. I, I guess you could use items on the ground. That's kind of interesting. It's something that I haven't considered before. Applicability. Ooh. 
And another Max Elixir. That'll be just nice to have. Be gone, Blast Seed, you blasted seed. I don't need you. And since we got so many items from that room alone... God dang you, Lanoon! It was your only plan to waste my time? And waste <laughs> Shane's bullet seed? Because once again, he's just like, Yes, my time has come. Become gun. Destination floor. Yay! Sand in your face, bug man. And sand to face. Tail to face. Face to face. The ultimate duel of not-so-ultimate destiny, because I just have a rock. Please don't blast him with bullet seed. God dang it. Though it is cool seeing you do over 200 damage. It's still just a whooper. At least I think it's a whooper. It is a low-level Pokemon that you can just smack with your face. We imbue you with magical power, gloomy gloom gloom. Teleport away. You know, once again, I, I remember talking a bit about, like, hmm, I wonder, like, well, how can this be considered, like, within the lore of the universe? If the rescue teams just have these badges that can teleport people out of these terrible situations, how come it's not just widely produced and then used. I shall eat this orange gummy off the floor. Five second rule, because it's been five seconds since I've seen it, which means it is applicable for me to eat. That is my rationale. To make a good face sandwich, apply sand, tail, and face to the sandwich. And then you get the perfect face sandwich. Hello, Murkrow. We rescue you. With magical badge power. I have to be careful because I don't want to accidentally hit. Yes, I would like to end my adventure. So, like, it feels like every single time that pops up, I'm like, okay. Analyze. Look at. Make sure. And also, of course... The one, I guess we could get rid of an orange berry because we don't really use the orange berries that much, and we have a billion orange berries in storage. It is just sad leaving an orange berry behind. It's like leaving behind a child, a very gifted child, but all the other children are more gifted, and it's just like, well, now we have to ponder the moral quandaries of life, and I don't like that. <laughs> How dare you <laughs> make me make choices? You know, that would actually be an interesting, like, moral dilemma in a, like, one of those choices video games. Like, do you choose between the mildly helpful child or a more helpful child, but you only have room for one child? Which child do you choose to save? Of course, then people would metagame it and be like, huh... They, the game might punish me and be like, Oh, you only chose this child because you can use them as a tool. Because they have applicability. Did this say it was a destination? I don't think it said it was a destination, but now I'm scared. I don't think this is a destination. But yeah, people try to metagame that kind of scenario. The game is only trying to make me think that it's a good idea to take the more powerful child <laughs> that's the one downside of modern video games a lot of people try to min max and like that's one thing that I'm both kind of like uh, <laughs> kind of makes me happy that I don't have many opportunities to play Dungeons and Dragons because I too have that innate mm, I must make efficient character 
thing from years and years of playing video games and being like, I have to efficiently make my character so I have a chance in this cruel, cruel world. It's just like, uh... But because I don't have opportunity to play Dungeons and Dragons, I don't have to run into those situations. Sure, I could just take the bad rolls, but I don't want to. Why would... What does that even do? <laughs> I didn't use a move. You silly McSilly slack-off man. I feel empowered to fight disasters. You go, buddy. You fight all the disasters. And once again, I forget if this is a destination floor or not. My memory is shocked. Wow, you are a mean mushroom. Too bad I'm an even meaner Eevee. But back, kind of back on to my derailed thought process of people can't just be like, I will make this decision because I want to. People are like, I must make this decision because efficiency. Personally, I blame capitalism. Decision can't just be decision. It must have five billion other decisions that are wrapped up in a towel that you then beat against the wall in pure anger. It's also, I think, something that uh, damages certain, like, story-based video games. Because a lot of people are like, no, must do efficient thing instead of just play game, make decisions. And it said this was a destination floor. Hmm. We must search out the proper destination there's the, there's the destination man. Let me guess, are you the one that wants the escape orb? It'd be hilarious if, like, now that I have this escape orb, I can finally escape this place when it's just like, dude, we're a rescue team. Hello, Geodude. Oh no. He just wanted to be saved. He was the smart Geodude. It's later. The one that's like, I want that. Diddly D orb. And yep, now that we've been in here for a decent amount of time, my brain has indeed recognized the horn pattern. And it's drilling into my brain. Oh no. It's like that torture method that it's just, I'm gonna drip a droplet of water onto your forehead at a specific rhythm, and it will drive you insane. Such a minor thing, yet madness prevails. Did we ever... I think we might have missed a, a mission in there. Did we give our escape orb away? I thought I explored a decent bit, but apparently not. I fear now. Oh. I don't remember talking to a bee drill. <laughs> it wasn't... Oh, have... Oh. Uh, it probably specified in the thing and wasn't a bring me this item while I'm in a mystery dungeon. It was specifically, hey, go into this mystery dungeon and find that specific item. I just didn't read the note because I'm stupid. For a moment, I thought that said 200 points, but no, it was just 200 monies. We rescued you, and we got the 200 pokey and 10 points. Thank you for rescuing me. 200 pokey. And Gravel Rock. <laughs> I love Fraggle Rock. Why'd you turn off the TV? And a P.E.K.K.A. Scarf.
That was my first scarf. Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. Now we just have to wait. Wait, I just realized something. We never did bring up to Ninetales that, like, hey, I've been having dreams of a Gardevoir. Not in that way. Could you maybe... If I'm not the human of legend, then why does memory thing happen? Please tell. This... That dream... Again... It's been a while. Has it? I guess I guess it has been a while because we were on the run. And then the last time we saw Gardevoir was when we were awake. Which really should have been more cause for concern. Your Gardevoir. Yes. Gardevoir, there's so much I want to ask you. Why do you appear in my dreams? As an agent of spirits, I must watch over you. Because that is my role now. An agent of spirits? Yes. I fell under the curse of Ninetales in the place of a trainer, and became a presence without a physical form like this. Trainer? You mean the human that was in the legend about Ninetales? It's awful that your trainer would abandon you and run away. <laughs> yes, my trainer was a terrible person. Well, at least she's not in denial. Then again... How long? How old is the Nine Tails? Hundreds of years? Mm. So I guess she's had time to come to terms with this. <laughs> mean and conniving. My trainer wasn't a nice person, truly. But I don't hate my trainer. Huh? Don't hate your trainer? Why not? Well, I wonder why myself. I don't quite understand. My trainer did some terrible things, but somehow I can't bring myself to feel hatred. <laughs> my trainer had some quirks, but there were good qualities too. And when it happened, I was desperate. When it happened? You mean Ninetales' curse? Yes. I protected my trainer from Ninetales' curse with my entire being. If the trainer is facing danger, it is our duty to protect the trainer with our lives. We Gardevoir are that way. I kept my trainer safe. That alone was enough to make me happy. Protect the trainer, even at the risk of your own life. It's amazing what Gardevoir did. Oh, I must mention, I don't mind the form I've taken. I live on this way with pride in the role I've been given. Role? Yes, all things have a role. They all serve a purpose. Just as I have my own role to play, you too have a role to fill. You have come here to perform a certain role. And for that role, you became a Pokemon. What? What are you saying? Uh, earthquake? No, wait! I need to know more! You will not know more from the dream. The next morning... Ah, oh, we don't wake up to the nightmare earthquake. Profound sadness. There was an earthquake, wasn't there? I think I had that dream again. I think I spoke with Gardevoir. She said something important. That's it. She did say something. <laughs> we just had this. This is so anime. This is Naruto Season 1. You have come here to perform a certain role. And for that role, you became a Pokemon. Gardevoir knows! She knows why I became a Pokemon. She also said something about a roll. What did she mean by that? Who knows? But we have water, we have apples, we have a lot of fucking apples. <laughs> Good morning, Neon. Huh? What's the matter? Is something wrong? Oh, I get it. That earthquake earlier. Neon, you're worried about the same thing I am. I should have guessed, Neon. Alakazam's team hasn't come back yet. They, they say that Groudon is powerful. That has me a little worried. But Alakazam's team is tough too. They should be fine. Anyway, we agreed to let Alakazam deal with Groudon. We don't have any choice. We have to wait for them to come back. We, do, we have to do what we can for our part. So let's do our best with the rescue team. Is it true about the petrify orb? Please, I must have one delivered. Objective, find petrify orb. I wonder if that actually means like... Uh, 
um... Who's there? Oh, why not and, uh, I, we haven't seen you before. Why not and... Wah, Buffett! I can't believe it took me that long to remember its name. Um, I'm Why Not, and this is... Wah, Buffett! We have a notice on the bulletin board outside the Polipper Post Office. Wah, Buffett! Please look at it for me. Please, please. Wah, Buffett! Please help me. I have to go now. <laughs> Wah, Buffett! Well, that's an odd duo. What was that? What was that all about? That little Pokemon. Did the boy say he was why not? I think he wanted us to... <laughs> I think he wanted us to do the thing that he said. <laughs> but yes, maybe why not and his friend have a problem on their hands. So they may have a help wanted notice on the bulletin board. Only one thing to do. Let's go check the Plipper Post Office's bulletin board. God dang it, that's going to take up room. My Mount Thunder journey will be hindered! Waha! <laughs> I don't know why. It's kind of silly that it's just like, Wah Buffet, Wah Buffet, over and over and over again. Like, I get it, dude. Wah Buffet, yeah. Wah Buffet indeed, but come on. You don't need to say it every single time. <laughs> it's like, no, you can't do that. But I wanna! But you can't do that. How dare you take away my ability! But you can't do that. <laughs> and we can put away this. So I guess, yeah, it was a specifically a... Hey. <laughs> find this in this dungeon and not, hey, bring me this from without the dungeon. Let's see, Reviver Seed. My Power Band. That because... We didn't, we didn't get any people that wanted to be like, Hey, I wanted to join your team. So I couldn't shove this off on them. Profound sadness. Oh, yeah. Well, first let's read. That quake was something else. It caught me by surprise. I almost drowned in the pond. Oh, wasn't it shocking? That earthquake was terrible. What's that? Has Alkazam's team returned? I'm not sure. I haven't seen them around the square. I don't think Alkazam's team has come back. That earthquake there was wicked. If why, if it can happen here, will more serious natural disasters come to the square? Anything new, Wiggly Tough, my boy? Nope, nothing new. How much money do we have? We have quite a bit of money. Let's check. Anything interesting here? Welcome to Kesleon Wares. Hidden power, shockwave. We already have a shockwave. We don't need to buy no shockwave. We have our own shockwave. Nobody that can use it. Well, I guess Terry, but I don't really want to spend that huge apple. A food item that completely fills up with belly, so... Ah, so basically there's apple, big apple, and then huge apple. The most hugest apple to ever apple. I will take that huge apple, because you just look at it. It's huge. Spherical. <laughs> That earthquake really frightened me. I was so scared, I spat silk all over the place. It was a mess for everyone. That's a weird natural reaction, I guess. I hardened when the quake hit. I couldn't take a step. I was just shaking inside my shell. <gasps> Thinking about it is scary. I don't think... Imagine if there was a metapod that was claustrophobic. Nightmare, nightmare. Run! I can't relax. My whiskers, they tell me of coming earthquakes. And many quakes are indeed coming. Yeesh, everyone is suffering. Everyone in pain. Oh yeah. Uh... bibbidi bobbidi boo Just trying to rearrange thoughts in my head. Well, I guess, take a look. Bulletin board. Punish Bad Mankey, Uproar Forest. Deliver one shockwave, what would you give me? 300 pokey and that's it? That wouldn't even pay for the diddly D. Deliver shockwave. So it's not even find shockwave in the mystery dungeon. I'm offering a generous reward. 300 pokey, again, that doesn't even cover the price of shockwave. Shockwave is for like 4,000. 
you are paying less than a tenth of the price. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. And we don't even have a Mount Thunder. One Link Box wanted. What would you give? 300... A Link Box plus something else. No. Reward? Who knows? Objective. Special mission. Please punish Bad Mankey's gang. Well, it's the story. We have to take it. How'd you get here? There was a job posted on the bulletin board which said, Punish Bad Mankey. Did you two put that up? Yep, yep. Wah, <laughs> A bad Mankey gang is going wild in our forest. Everyone is upset. We don't know why they are rampage around, but they are always angry and attack anyone they see. Oh no, that is a problem. Neon, we should go. Thank you. We're counting on you. The place where the Minky Gang is wreaking havoc on others, the Upper Forest, is now open for exploration. Let's see, I guess I technically have two Mount Thunders, a Silent Chasm, and a Mount Freeze. Oh, it doesn't take up space! Yay! It doesn't take up space. So, one Mount Freeze, one Silent Chasm, two Mount Thunder. And all the rest are things. Red Gummy. 100 Pokey Plus. Gravel Rock. <laughs> Skills them out. 100 Pokey. So. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Silent Chasm. Mount Freeze. Two Mount Thunder. Then I guess I'll take the Lapis Cave and Mount Blaze. And I think that'll be it because I don't, I don't, like, it's not even a plus. It's just 300 Pokey. Honestly, I would prefer it if that was a, a, a cop out. And it's just like, <laughs> actually, I wanted you to be here so I could beat you up. But they wouldn't do that. <laughs> Pain and misery! <coughs> Tickle at my throat wants me to die? Well, let's see how much tougher these other mazes are. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six new mazes. The normal maze. It's my maze. This maze was made for me. How rude. Too bad I know how these mazes work. Oh god. Actually, come to think of it. I shall equip the power band. Throw a rock at you. Because all we need to do is escape. There isn't any, like, actual... Oh, we need to find things or... Th like, there's no items, there's no nothing. It's just beat up the enemies that you come across for levels... Find the exit. That's it. So, power band it is. You don't even have linked moves, do you? You are the fail. I am the fail. I am the failure. And now I'm reminded of... Lazy Purples, how it feels to play series. Am I a bad class? Yes. Yes, you are. Oh, no. Please don't waste all that. We have nine more to go. Granted, there are... Actually, we only need to... I think it's the next exit, and then we're on to the boss fight. Unless they extend. Nope. Defeat the opposing team to win. Quick attack. Lol. Mildly uh, more dangerous, but overall, we can still one-shot them, so yay. 
Ah, you've succeeded in your training. Because I don't think there will be any more dojos, diddly -dos. I don't think. I do not believe that there are any other dojos mazes that would pop up, so we should get a reward for this after we beat these ones. I leveled up. My power, it's overwhelming. Learn a new move, Mega Drain, which is act... I need info. Inflicts damage on the target. It also restores the user's HP based on the damage it inflicted. Foe in front, type grass, absorb. I think it's just... Yeah, it's one PP less absorb, but should be better. Let me just double make sure. Absorb, absorb, forget absorb, learn Mega Drain. Booyah. But yeah, I think we're finally starting to diverge in levels a bit. I have more health than my boy Shane. We didn't even need to fight anyone on that one. I'm just here to beat these. The opposing team to win. Ooh, I wonder if, since it says opposing team, I wonder if this is like, maybe sorta a rescue team that's also training. Lol. The enemy's trying to run away. What a cowardly fool. Rock. Now I just... I wish that there was like a comic series based off of this game that actually like was based off of a playthrough. So it would be like things like that. Ah, that's team so-and-so. They decided to head up this part, this fire maze to truly test people on what it means to face fire Pokemon. Quick attack the team leader who immediately starts running away. Beat up their the other team members. Well, I guess we'll beat up beat up you so we can get experience. Then after we beat up the other two team members, the Trico just throws a rock at the Ponyta. And then you could have, like, a, a gag uh, dialogue box that said something like, Ponyta never did live down being defeated by a rock thrown by a grass type. <laughs> I am the leader of the fire maze. Gets beaten by a rock. Not even a rock move, just a rock. And plus, I think it would be nice to kind of flesh out the partner's personality. Because uh, the partner is a little bit simple in this game. Isn't There isn't that super duper much personality. But granted, this is like the first, one, first Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. And it's all about the feels, man. All about the feels. So having like a basic character to begin is just like, it works. The partner Pokemon in this game, Shane, that I have named him, is absolutely wonderful, and that is a creepy sprite, actually. Hello, Snowrunt. You are a nightmare demon. Of all the times you don't use Bullet Seed? Really? I have succeeded. I have beaten down all foes. Next should be Psychic Ground. Then Psychic, then Dragon. And then I don't think there'll be any more types because Fairy doesn't exist yet. Oh no, we have to beat up Diglett. Sorry Diglett, you're in the way. <laughs> Whack-a-mole. Whack-a-Diglett. That's actually kind of creepy. Just disturbed Earth marching towards you. Oh. Oh no. 
Earthquake is room wide. Please don't kill me, Diglett. The horrifying... Actually, come to think of it, didn't it, we say to, like, Zapdos? Oh, no, it was Skarmory. Skarmory, Diglett and its family can't make that much noise. Magnitude 5 Earthquake. <laughs> but sure, whatever you say, game. <laughs> and in that case, whatever you say, Shane, these small monstrosities know how to use Magnitude 5 Earthquake. And this is the most populated place of doom. Oh no. Bullet seed! <laughs> Just murder! And, uh, I'll take lead so that you don't use more bullet seed. What the hell? Oh yeah, because I have... I have a sand attack oh, labeled upon me. I forgot. Because I'm a fool. You thought you were sleeping, but it was actually me. You're deaf. What? How dare you? Oh. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't. You know, despite the fact that we had a dig TM in... We, we found a dig TM. And so I knew, Dig exists in this game. I didn't really rationalize what that meant. <laughs> oh no, now there's four of them. Now there is two of them! Boom. Kill the team. What kind of team would that be? Two Fanpy and two Diglett. Ah, you have succeeded in your training. You have shown your worth. Now on to the Psychic One. The Psychic Maze. At least we don't have to worry about running into Mewtwo at the end of this. Huh. You're not what I immediately think of when I think Psychic. Okay. Oh. What? I've been immobilized. Shane, help me. Push me down the stairs. Roll out the barrel. Da 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 da. -da. Oh. Oh no. He used Destiny Bond. Help! Shane, please! You'll murder me! Uh, I have to use my, one of my orange berries. Oh no! Help! Shane, don't kill me! Not to mention that you're doing it super slow. And I can't even do... Oh, it's because if he used anything super major, it would probably absolutely annihilate me. Well, it's... I have a Reviver Seed. Fuck it. Okay, if you kill, it actually doesn't do anything good. Okay. Note to self. Note to self. Destiny Bond doesn't faint in this game. It only damages. So if you actually fight an enemy that uses Destiny Bond, you'll only take damage, and if you go for like a super duper mega wham hammer, you're dead. It won't actually kill you. This isn't the psychic room. This is the freaking Wobbuffet maze. That's... Alright, I'm not going to smack you. Not 
gonna smack you until I have to. I'm being whacked by bobblehead monsters. Mirror code. If I'm correct, that is... Oh, I've... Uh, that's basically a reflect move counter for special attacks, I think. Okay, that was actually a bit more difficult, only because freaking Destiny Bond. And there's only one left to go. Dragon Maze. I think this is the first time we're going to see a dragon type in this game. It's going to be like Dratini's or something. Huh. Enemies? Hello, enemies. Oh, actually, I was wrong. You're not what I think of when I think dragon type. I think you're more steel type. In fact, is there not a... Is there going to be more... Like, was there a steel maze? Did we do a steel maze? I don't... Okay, well, screw it. It's such a maze. We spawned into the rooms that had the answers. Utter serious silliness. And yeah, the, the Wobbuffet were infinitely more scary than you. Now, if there was a Dragonair in here, a Dragonite, oh no. But no, you're just piddly steel types. We win. Ah, you've succeeded in your training. You've shown your worth. May this success drive you harder. And yep, from the looks of it, there will be more, even more. Yeah, there was a steel maze. I'm not sure. So does that... Ah, nope. My... Meh. I typed... I tapped too fast on the button. Info. Was founded. Train to level up and toughen up your rescue team. Also in the fire maze. You'll find fire type. Yeah, so you can fight against specific types. Are all volunteers there participating? The only way to thank to see that... There's more. For a rescue team that successfully completes all training courses, I have a special reward! So I guess that means there is still some. And I don't know what that means. I would like to store a single apple. And then our job list. I'll go ahead and do Mount Thunder. So I can get that friend area. This must be one of the few times that somebody has actually sought out the friend zone. Guitar riff. It appears very eager to go beat up some fools. And that's another thing. If this were, like, trans... Well, I guess translated kind of works. If this were better told in, like, a, like a comic or a manga, certain side characters could actually have some... What's the word? Actual depth applied to them. Because... Absol, Fate, only had personality during their, like, story segment. Talking to Articuno, and that was basically it. Row. Low be the dangers of the world. We must fight them. And then it's just Absol was with us on an adventure. And then I don't think Absol has spoken since. So if this were, like, translated into, like, a, a comic or just a, a story in general without the gameplay getting in the way, certain characters like Absol, the Magnemite, could all have actual, like, story effects. A bit more. I think that would be interesting. And if I had more time on my hands and better skill, I would try and 
make a mystery dungeon comic. Need to get good at art. Need to get good skills. I need to get good. And also, kind of speaking of, since we're only fighting ones that diddly dee, stamina band, so that way we don't use up our apples. Apples. And there's not really, I don't think, many, like, area, like, there were, I do not believe that this area will grant us much items. How dare you. So yeah, I guess we'll, we'll beat up you two. And then we'll go down. Or our fate can just eat your face. I thought I did the thing to orient myself, but I did not. I am a failure. I am ashamed to my ancestors. You look up, and somehow, the human's ancestors are still Eevees. They look down and say, For shame, you cannot even look right. I thought I hit the right button. And that is where you went wrong. You thought instead of did. Still a bit aggravating that he's just like, I can screech through walls. And he's just like, but your move is linked. It is a linked move. Shane, why? Bullet seed. Murder time. I just realized I haven't put away my money. I have a lot of money I could be losing if I fainted. And I don't think I added up my uh, reviver seeds. I don't know. We shouldn't have to worry about anything super major, but still. And we're now getting a whole bunch of apples. I could have sworn there for a while there was like an apple drought. That we weren't getting apples all that much during our runs through these dungeons. And now all of a sudden, it seems like we can't go two floors without running into an apple. Not that I'm complaining. It'll just kind of, kind of sort of fill up our inventory ever so slightly. Just gotta explore. Now this makes me wonder if there's, like, a Mystery Dungeon Cartographer. I am the Mystery Dungeon Cartographer. I go into Mystery Dungeons to map them out. And they're just like, doesn't this idiot know that Mystery Dungeons change? That's why they're called Mystery Dungeons. Come on, Shane. Are you trying to get me punched? <laughs> Shane's just like, I believe in you totally. Sets me up to be punched. Ow. Now, now an idea comes to mind. One of pure pain. What if there was a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game? And your partner was the villain of the game. Just, you go through the game, you think, Oh yeah, it's my partner. My partner's supposed to be my friend. And then you go through the game, and your and your partner turns out to be just a toxic individual gaslighting you, and be like, "How could you think that I would betray you? Aren't I your friend?" And other such shenanigans, just to beat the player down. And now I'm paralyzed. What fun! Now we're both paralyzed. He's already paralyzed. Quit punching the salad. This is very rude. It's like he looks at him. He's already paralyzed and... 
freaking Electro Buzz is like, he could still be a bit more paralyzed. Punch, punch, punch. Ah, there's the escape. You thought you could damage me. You cannot. We've been missing a lot lately. I need to raise my accuracy stat. That probably isn't a stat, so I'll make one. <laughs> Just pulls out, like in universe, pulls out a character sheet and writes in marker, like, accuracy 150%. If I modify my character sheet, it means that my stats will be super good. <laughs> if that were a comic thing, I would totally have it be like, We need to raise our accuracy. I know how to do that. Pulls out a character sheet. And then, <laughs> it, with a pin. And the pin is labeled Game Shark. Writes in accuracy. 9,999%. Now we'll never miss again. And then the partner just looks at the hero and is just like, oh, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe this rescue team is doomed. <laughs> Quit stealing my rocks. My rocks are my rocks, and you can't take my rocks, because they're my rocks. Also, I'm paralyzed. Help. Help me. I'm being used by a trampoline by that Ampros. Help. God dang it. What is with your evasion, my dude? Quit stepping on the pokey. Pick it up, or leave it there. Ow. Don't, don't you dare. We've already been paralyzed enough today. Ow. Oh. Never mind, I was going to say we'll let that one live. And then Fate was like, no! I guess that Stantler was um, a big deal when it comes to Fate, Ow. <laughs> Once again, a moment in the hypothetical comic based off of a playthrough. We're just walking through, we see a sleeping Pokemon, and it's just like, I used up a lot of moves, I, let's just leave that one be. There's no real reason, and then Fate is like, no. <laughs> just like, an expression of horror is just, as the danger sense goes off, and Fate is like, no. That Stantler must die. <gasps> Quick attack. In, in the blink of an eye, the Stantler is just a paste on a wall. And the partner and hero look to the Absol and go, Dude, what the hell? <laughs> and Fate is just like, I don't have to explain anything to you. <laughs> my, my danger sense said so. And so we did. The partner's just like, there is no we in that. That was unprovoked. <gasps> I just realized. I didn't bring the taunt. I am a failure. The entire point of this. And we and I didn't bring the fucking taunt. I kind of wish that it would just be like, hey, I have the item in my bloody thing. Can we just, can, we, can you just bring it out for me? It's just like, no, it's part of the thing. You have to use your inventory space to do it. But it's just dead. <laughs> ah, the entire point of coming here and doing this was to diddly dig at the friend area and then I just didn't bring the TM because it's been sitting in the storage unit. Ah. 
another scene for the hypothetical mystery dungeon comic based on a playthrough. The hero and partner trudge through a hard dungeon. Yeah, and I don't have it. I don't have it. I'm like, do you have it? No, I don't. And now it's going to be taken away, isn't it? Because we went to this floor. And we don't have it. They're going to be like, well, you failed the mission. And there goes that friend area. All this time. All this time. I should have done this first. I should have immediately just been like, screw it. We're going to grab the TM. We're going to go do Thunder Mountain. And, and even though... There's no other missions. We're gonna do Thunder Mountain right now, and then no. My brain. My brain. My brain. Such pain and agony. Fuck off, game. Will you, one of you, fucking come forward and kill and murder? We already have a Gliger. Fuck off. No bloody mercy. No bloody fuck off mercy. Yes. Oh, I'm very annoyed. Let's just get out of here. My pain and agony. My agony. My agony! Didn't we do good today? We forgot to bring that very important item that we languished about for the longest time to the client. <laughs> At the very least, it doesn't seem like they took away the bloody thing from us, so... That's something. Hey, no earthquake tonight. Good morning, Neon. And hello, Pilippa. The male boy of male maze. Good male man. Good male bird. Moving as a team. Read. Use team members effectively. When you're fighting in a dungeon, it's important to use your team members. If you attack from the side, move horizontally. If attacked from above or below, move vertically. That way, you can have several Pokemon fighting a single foe. Change tactics if a member doesn't move properly. Pokemon News Extra 1. Neon Innocent Part 1. She met with... No <laughs> I think this is the first time they actually specifically use pronouns in regards to the main character. It's in this little side thing that you might miss. She met with Ninetales on Mount Freeze. Ninetales testified that Neon was not the human that appeared in the legend. As a result, Gengar's claims were found to be malicious lies. The clearly dismayed Gengar's quote, <laughs> My guess is because it's such a small thing, it's probably easier to designate when something like that spawns. Like... I'm not sure the if-when coding for, like, uh, pronouns on which diddly d should appear when and such. Let's see, anything else? Peckerberry and Orenberry. Put them away! Yeah, it, it, it's probably easier just to have one diddly d note specified the thing, and uh, instead of an entire like uh, instead of blah, 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 I'm still f fucking angry at Mount Thunder. Uh, save my love. For a royal gummy. I don't have a dragon teammate. 
I'm scared. I'm scared too, little Billy. Please save my friend. Sure. Take me to Lapis Cave B. Okay, we'll accept that. And now I'm gonna go grab that taunt and we're gonna go back to frickin' Thunder Mountain and we're gonna go do that goddamn thing because I'm gonna get that frickin' friend area. It's gonna be mine. It's my friend area. He's where my friends will go. My friends! My friend. What was I saying? Yeah. I guess it's just easier to, like, have a single note. Single little note diddly. It'd be like, oh yes, player's pronouns. As opposed to having entire swaths of the story use, like... <laughs> it's just like, we'll just have the character's name instead of anything. I keep forgetting, I named someone Mario. I think it was that shroomish that has failed me so many times. It's a me! <laughs> Failure! We're gonna go to Mount Thunder, we're gonna go to Mount Thunder because I'm gonna get the friend area. I'm gonna, gonna be my friend area. My... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think that would be a funny plot for, like, again, I keep coming back to the hypothetical based on a playthrough comic that I might want to do someday. It's just like the team, they go through the arduous dungeon, beating up and being attacked by wild Pokemon. And it's just like, finally, we've been holding on to this mission for so long because of the reward. It's okay, Shane, bring out the TM. I thought you brought it. Look of dismay. Look of anger. <laughs> and then it just cuts to a montage of us going back to Pokemon Square. Grabbing the TM out of... <laughs> <laughs> out of storage with just the boat like you know that look the super serious expression where the eyes are in shadow and they're just scowling take the te technical machine out of storage it's just a montage of us destroying the enemy as we march up thunder mountain <laughs> and <laughs> It seems like we're giants of monstrous proportions and anger marching towards this happy little Paris. And it's just like, ah, do you have that technical machine I wanted? <laughs> and if you really wanted to make it kind of a, a shaggy dog story, would it be a, sh a shoot the shaggy dog story? I don't know. Trope names are weird. It would be like... The friend area can only have one Pokemon in it. And everyone despairs. There's, okay, Wigglytuff, somebody gave us this friend area. What's it good for? One Pokemon! And then, as a Chekhov's gun, later in the game, or the comic based off of a playthrough, with obviously this being the only embellishment, because you can't actually do that specific kind of thing. It would be a wonder if it was just like, ah oh, yes, this is a legendary Pokemon friend area. But yeah, then later in the story, beat up a legendary Pokemon, and the legendary Pokemon is just like, hmm, I would like to join your rescue team. But I worry that you won't have the friend area that I need for housing. And sadness, and it's just, <laughs> and then somebody, I don't know, fate, would be like, you don't happen to want to live in and insert the friend area of one Pokemon here, would you? Oh yes, that's precisely it! <laughs> I just think it would be funny. We're not here to gather items or beat up... Okay, we'll, we'll beat up these Pokemon because there's five billion of them and I want all these items here. Die. Of course you would bullet seed, that makes sense. Whoop! Fool! I'm gonna have to not write these notes down. Sure, th uh, they are verbalized here, but I don't really listen or play back my streams that often. Oddly enough, I don't like the sound of my vo my own voice in large doses. Oh, I, 
stupid me, that wasn't quick attack. Me dumb. My brain is on fire! Yeah, like, I... Uh, <laughs> it could just be me really disliking having to do audio editing if it ever shows up, but... Yeah, I just, uh... Oi! What is the missing? Bloody bastard! Yeah. Just for whatever reason, when I have to do audio editing, I just really dislike it. And maybe that, maybe it's less, I hate my, the sound of my own voice, and more just, well, maybe not hate, I just kind of am negatively dispositioned towards the sound of my own voice, for the most part. And then, when it comes to audio editing... Feck off with the fucking misses, you dickhead. Kill. What is with all the misses? Bliggity blarg. Oh, stab your family and swear on my swears. Yeah. It just takes me, like, multiple listen-throughs and... to really be able to work with my own voice when it comes to, like, audio editing or anything. Hmm, red gummy. We don't- we don't have a fire-type teammate, I don't think. Can't exactly go up to the wild Pokemon and be like, Hey, you wanna join our rescue team? Ah, destination floor at long last. Yes, 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 we're getting hungry. Oh, hey, rocks. My favorite bullets. <laughs> Another reason that I probably... I'm negatively dispositioned towards my own voice is because so many people are like, Oh my god, your voice is great, you should do voice acting. And then I just never for the life of me fucking land any roles whatsoever. And then the few times they're like, Oh yeah, your voice is great, we'll take you on to this project. And they're never paid for projects. <laughs> All of them do the stupid thing where they just fall off the face of the earth. Either nothing comes of it, or they fall into development hell in one way or another. And it's just nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Hello. Here. Give me the friend area once we get out of here. Actually, yeah. Uh... Yeah, let's just get out of here. So yeah, it's just like... Experience? That many experience points? Or is that just how... Oh no, that's how many I... Actually got it. <laughs> that's my accumulative, not this specifically. For a moment there, it was just like, Jesus Christ, that many from this, this mission? What? But yeah. I just, I don't have luck looking for voice acting projects just to do for fun. Let alone pay. I don't think I've ever been paid for my voice. You can now go to a boulder cave. Woot. We delivered that damn TM. We did good, didn't we? Let's get some rest. See you tomorrow. Finally! <laughs> we did the thing! We did the diddly damn diddly dee dee diddly dee damn diddly dee 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 diddly damn thing. Wah! Wah, wah, wah. Adding team members. If you want to enlarge your rescue team, you must first get friend areas. When a Pokemon that can live in an obtained friend area is defeated, it may ask to join your rescue team. Add your friend area so you can recruit more members. Incidentally, you may take no more than three friends into a dungeon. Does that mean no more than Shane and two others? Or that has to be what it means. It can't just be... You can't have a five-man band go in there. Let's read Pokemon News Extra 2. Neon Innocent Part 2. Quote from Charizard on the scene. 
He know, That's what I thought right from the start. How did he know? Char Alakazam and the rest went down into Groudon's caverns immediately after realizing that we were innocent. How did they get a quote? And wouldn't it be kind of disingenuous to be like, Hey, you were there on the scene. Tell me what other people said while on the scene. That would be kind of disingenuous. Quote from Tyranitar on the scene. That muckraking Gengar. He's not getting away with this. He'd be... He better be ready for it. And we'll just go see if there are any interesting... diddly dees From the board. And then we'll probably do... The story mission. Story mission. Engage. Thank you, Mrs. Kangaskhan, for storing all my items. All right. And we'll go ahead and put away this pokey that we have. Because I don't want to lose it just in case. In fact, speaking on that, I'm going to go bring out some one or two extra Reviver Seeds from storage. Let's see. Reviver Seed. Reviver Seed. I'll take one out. Actually, come to think of it, should probably go... Do you have any Reviver Seeds you're selling? Nope. What's a Heal Seed? Did that make a status effect? He was all status problems, diddly D. What do you have to sell? Dig Rest Torment Scanner Orb. Don't really care. And uh, because we're going to go to a new area, and I'm scared, I'm going to bring Fate along. They're grinning happily. I love that. God, I wish that I was faster at drawing and better so I could draw these ideas that come to my mind. <sighs> I am a failure. An artistic failure. Hey, a grass gummy. Open wide. <laughs> I'm Neon of Team Shining, and this is Jackass. <laughs> Another grass gummy. I hope these aren't poisoned. Non traitor. Yay. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, that's tactics, not. Ooh, go the other way. I think that's a new tactic that opened up. Or, or has that always been there? I don't know. My brain is on fry. <laughs> it's a Venonat! Look out! Yeah, screw it. I'm gonna put uh, Go After Enemies back on. Just because it'll be a bit more efficient. Just ever so slightly more efficient if they do... Although, wouldn't that... I wonder what avoid first hit means. It probably just means... I wonder if avoid first hit is a better go after enemies. In fact, I'll check that out. I will check that out right now. Avoid first hit. Info. We'll try to avoid being attacked first. If a foe comes close, the Pokemon will attack. Maybe that is what I want. Like, remember I've been saying, like, Oh, I wish that I could designate, like, uh... How many, like, uh... My f allies would go after an enemy. But only within a certain range, so they don't just beeline after an enemy that's 5,000 blocks away. Let's see. Nope. Does not appear to be. 
It just means that they'd be smarter at avoiding damage, but... Nope, it's not what I wanted. Profound sadness. Go after foes. We will have to deal with the team being like, Enemy! Oh! And just be lining towards them, but oh well. Dang it, and uh, Absol does not know non-trader. Oh, um, that's gonna be another annoying thing. He'll just line up with enemies. <laughs> line up with enemies just to use Bullet Seed. Oh no. Beat up the Venonat! Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. So many falls going after us today. You really like to use your most expensive PowerPoint moves, don't you? <laughs> Help! And fate went off on an adventure. Probably should have used Link. Oh wait, we, we could we? Can you Link that kind of enemy or uh, ally move stuff? I don't know. Another grass gummy. I'll be. I'll try not to throw the blast seed at you. I promise. Well, let's go ahead and move on before fate goes off. Oh no, sandstorm. I forget what that does in this context. Yeah, damage every few turns. This is the kind of thing where you'd want to bring in a weather clearing ally. Or just get out of here immediately. Although it does seem to be that you so long <laughs> unlike poison, it's kind of manageable. Help! Ah, so it can still strike at allies. It can still strike at allies, but it won't damage them. Okay, good. And we would, well, maybe. Maybe we should explore a bit more. Maybe there'll be good items because it's a sandstorm. They're like, aha, players won't explore sandstorm floors. But I am beginning to have an annoyed predisposition towards Venonats. How does pocket sand sand attack work in the context of a sandstorm? Now it just brings to mind, like, <laughs> the main character grabbing sand out of the sandstorm's winds and chucking it at an enemy's eyes. And it's just, like, absurd, crazy, it never would happen, but just, like, I don't know. It's, it, it sounds amusing to me. Wow, this was useless. I thought there would be wonders and treasure. <laughs> Some snarky bastard is just like, wow, who would have thought that a place that is super hostile actually is super hostile and wouldn't have anything of value? Who could have seen that one coming?
And away we go! You dare try and run. You will not escape. Yet another grass gummy. What the hell? I feel like... Why did you dodge it? I was throwing it at you because I'm your friend. Eat it! Eat it! Just eat it! Get up off the floor and eat it! <laughs> and once again, I am reminded that Daniel Radcliffe is going to play Weird Al in Weird Al's self-done autobiography thing. Hilarious. Hello, little seed monster. You will die today. I just remembered. I didn't check to see what kind of Pokemon live in Boulder Valley. Well, a thing to do when we get back. self cura uh, more than likely, that's just, oh, if I have the the proper thing, I'll eat it if it's in my diddly d. Wrong, it's under IQ. Self-Cura. The Pokemon recovers faster from stats problems. Yes, put that on. Hell yeah. And another one. Shane is going to be the most intelligent Pokemon. <laughs> now I'm just imagining, like... <laughs> the rescue team just going through this dungeon and it's just like, wow, Shane, we just keep finding grass gummies for you. Soon, you'll be able to rival Alakazam in terms of intelligence, IQ, power. And then just like a small little scene of Shane just gobbling up a bunch of grass gummies with the rescue team just going chug, chug, chug behind him. Snow in a forest. Huh. I forget. Did snow even do anything? What does snow do? I guess you could say I have snow idea. <laughs> Yet another diddly dang grass gummy. Chug, 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 chug. Listen, when I throw items at you, you will. Devour them. Kill, 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 kill. You have made a terrible mistake there, C Dot. How did you miss? It must be the snow. Rock. I throw another rock. But we have to go through this forest before Shane becomes too smart. Shane's IQ is, is growing. It's overflowing. But seriously, what is with all the grass gummies? Do certain mystery dungeons just have a predisposition towards certain item spawns? Or what? Because seriously... That has been way too many gummies so far. I refuse to believe it's that crazy. <laughs> and yet another one! And we're finally running into the Mankeys. This place is mission sake. I shall quick attack you. Get out of here, fool. That doesn't really help us. I'll throw a rock. And another blast seed. Nobody cares about... Oh, it's a green gummy. What's the difference between a green gummy and a ga grass gummy? I forget. Kill. Kill. Ah, karate chop. 
my favorite normal type move. Let's get out of here before even more giant enemies come out to wreck our day. Let's see. Bug type moves. Ah. Get out of here, Mankey. This is our forest now. Let's just march on. Kill the Mankey. They're actually quite fragile, aren't they? What? Chestnut? What's a chestnut? Mankey loves to eat this. I feel like I've made a grave mistake by picking this up. <laughs> I honestly feel like I made a mistake. Or maybe I can throw it down its gullet and be like, here, have this, and it'll like bypass the fight. Ah, uh, we'll just beat up the Mankey. It would be funny if it just, like, super spawns in more Mankeys. <laughs> you have a chestnut on you. Five Mankeys patrol the area looking to eliminate you. Follow me, your glorious leader. Let's see. We shall eat one normal apple. It's been a while since you've done that. Nice self-control there, Shane. Huh? What is it, you? We don't like to brag or nothing, but we get furious real easy. You know that? What really irritates us is when we see some dim-witted faces. Ah! That vacant expression. Oh, it's ticking me off. I'm seeing red. Mucky. Get him, it's frenzy time. I think they're just stupid. <laughs> Yeah, I think they're just insane. Quick attack. <laughs> and I'll annihilate you too. Lol. We just killed them! <laughs> like we promised. Oh, and more than likely the Mankey Gang will come back and make even more trouble. And they shouldn't monkey around. That should teach them not to be so wild. Everyone, thank you for everything, really. Wah, Buffett! Yes, we're filled with gratitude. This is our thanks. A peeled chestnut. This? A peeled chestnut? Yes, it's a peeled chestnut. You see, we <gasps> don't have any money. Wah, Buffett! So we can only give you a chestnut as our reward. Are you unhappy? Um, no, no. We're fine with this. Peeled chestnuts are delicious. I think they're great. <laughs> a little money would have been nice. I mean, we don't really need that much money. We're freaking rich at this point. <laughs> but still, we shouldn't make it that much of a, a deal. Hey, you! They followed us home. Ah, no, the Mankey Gang! Why, Buffett? That Mankey Gang. Did they chase us here to get us back? That's right, you! You got lucky! You don't mess with us! We're not gonna lose this time! We'll pulverize you! Mucky! Crush them! Whoa! Look at that! Chestnut! It is! It's a peeled chestnut! What? What are they doing? They look like they're having a discussion. Wow, Buffett! What's going on? Ah, uh, listen. You got something we want. That peeled chestnut you have. Can we have it? We, uh, love peeled chestnuts. Like, we love them so much. We can't think of a life without chestnuts. 
Can't you just get chestnuts by yourselves? You know how chestnuts have that spiky shell? Trying to peel that spiky shell. It hurts! And we end up losing our tempers! That's why we're asking. Give us that peeled chestnut. We'll do whatever you want! Hmm. What do you think? Should we give him our peeled chestnut? Yes. I know. Listen, Minky Gang. How are you with physical labor? Physical labor? You mean muscle work. We have muscles, but we don't like work. But if it's for that peeled chestnut... Okay, this is what we'll do. We were going to make our rescue team base something more impressive than this. Rescue team base? That's right, our rescue team base. If you would help us with the building of the rescue team base, we could give you this peeled chestnut. How does that sound? Okay, we'll help! Really? You'll help us? Yeah, leave it to us! We'll carry in the materials and get the place built double quick! In return, hand over that peeled chestnut. Me too. I'll help too. I'll spit silk for gluing things together. I'll help too. I felt bad because we only had a peeled chestnut for your award. Thanks, everyone. Okay, let's get a move on! Okay. Okay. Pose! I think we'll have to go get more chestnuts for them eventually, but hey, we got them to do labor and work off their anger. And so, construction work began on the rescue team base of Neon's Team Shining. Several days later, however... Coming along well. Ooh, our base is coming along quickly. We owe everyone for this. But there's still lots to do. We ha still have a difficult things to do. That's true. But we're getting close, right, Manky Gang? Huh? Look over there. Uh, uh. What's the matter? We need to keep working. Don't wanna. What? This works too boring. How do you expect us to keep going? Yeah, that's right. I don't want to do this anymore. We might change our minds if you get us more field chestnuts. What is this about? Don't know. They're unionizing. We just can't be bothered. We need peeled chestnuts to motivate us. We have a problem, Neon. I don't think the Minky Gang will work unless we get them another peeled chestnut. I guess we'll have to give the Minky Gang any peeled chestnuts that we find. I do have one. I have one chestnut. It's not peeled, though. How do we how do we peel it? We need we need technology. No! They made off with my apples! But at least I still have water. Good morning, Neon. I like that it's kind of evolving. <laughs> we beat up the Mankey gang and then through <laughs> happenstance, like <laughs> that's the kind of thing. It's just like I love that kind of little story thing. Hey Wabafet. Wabafe! I'm not- I'm, I'm talking to- why not? We're going to work hard! We'll finish the rescue team base! Important move tips! Move diagonally to avoid foes. Keep R pressed. Then use the directional pad to move diagonally, changing direction. It's also very important to change directions without moving. Check hints to see how you can do this maneuver. You could have just said... Press the button and then move gummies that make you smart research has revealed that popular gummy treats not only enhance intelligence they also have different effects depending on the type share gummies of your friends and get smarter for your adventures in dungeons throw them at your friends use them in friend areas and that's it huh did you bring us a peel chestnut oh a chestnut we want a peel chestnut come on give it to us we'll work hard for it Peel the spiny shell and handed it to the chestnut over. Yes! A peeled chestnut! All right, you layabouts! Get it together, chop chop! Why don't you quit lounging around yourself? Get moving! We'll get hustling on renovating your rescue team base. We'll carry on the materials and get the place built double quick. You just wait. And so, <laughs> supplied with another peeled chestnut, the Mankey Gang got motivated and returned to work on the rescue team base's renovation. As a result, 
the rescue team base's completion moved a little bit closer. <laughs> so I guess we have to keep going to the loud forest if we want to get everything. Anything else? <laughs> no. And it's been a few days at this point because super speeding. Oh yeah, we can take a look. You have any new places? Nope. We were just too rich, but let's see. Check. Uh, wrong one. I want to check my... I, can I... Um, I can... Meh. Where do I check my rescue team base information? Well, not rescue team base, but friend area information. Whoa. I fall into a, a void. Green gummy green. Well, I guess... Uh... Do -do 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 -do. I can't eat it in here, but I want to eat the green gummy. Once more, taunt has taunted me. It's actually a cheap one. I'll take that. <laughs> Hello there, Mario LC. Thank you for the raid. How did your stream go? Right now, we are continuing our adventures here in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team because I needed a nice chill thing for the evening after today. But, but, but. Right now, we are having our rescue team base renovated. And that's nice. What is for everyone wanting so many bloody TMs? Deliver this, deliver that. Do you know how hard it is to get a bloody thing? I have mental insanity. I can only imagine going through. Going through and playing very hard. It seems like madness. Madness! Madness. Uh, I guess we'll do Lapis Cave. Make sure. And yeah, we'll go on. And we still need another chestnut to get to the Mankey Gang. Working order. They, they don't need money. What they need is chestnuts. Boulder Cave. I don't know why anyone would want to live there. <laughs> I couldn't beat Zora's Domain. I can only imagine doing a har very hard mode only playthrough. Seems like madness. And probably requires a lot of grinding. And money. Your client, Houndour, joined your rescue team. We're gonna have to make sure that he doesn't die. I got to the Lionel and then rage quit after fighting it for like 20 to 30 minutes. I can only imagine. That is the point, <laughs> at the point in time where you have to go insane just getting the flurry rushes down. And dear God, I don't even want to think about the, like, uh, the, how, the health multiplier. How much health is, is added is must be crazy. Recommended level, six, me, level 14, and still gets nearly one shot. Yep, that would probably do it. <laughs> can only bloody well imagine. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, and then I'll put my team back on. Go beat up the enemies. Alright, team. Time to kill. 
Oh boy, here we go, killing again. But yeah. And I don't think you even get anything for doing it on a harder level. If anything, I think I uh, did a little bit of research. It's like, what is the difference in the difficulty? And people just said, if you want to grind for rupees, put it down to very easy. There seems to be no reason to do harder difficulties except masochism. You could have at least, like, harder levels give more experience or diddly dee, but no, it's just like, you suffer. <laughs> That's it. What does the higher difficulties add? Suffering. <laughs> And that, that's partly why I dislike difficulty in some video games. And why I like, like, Sekiro and stuff. Because it's nice tailored experience. There's higher rewards. Ah, there are. Me dumb, then. Then it might be something I'll have to clear out and... <laughs> Maybe that should be a thing. Maybe that should be a stream. Seeing how harder the story mode missions are on very hard after beating the initial story. That might be a thing. We get higher rewards and new content, technically, because it'll be agony. Well, not really new content, but new agony. And that's basically the same thing. I love this game. Love the music. It's nice and chill. It's nice to relax after a day of pain. No item that way. Ah, let's just move along. Moving on up to a castle. Hey, get away from the client! Get down, Mr. President! Murders the bee. I'm a lovely bug, and I'm just minding my own day. Four strangers just wrench their way out of the soil from an unseen passage. <laughs> Immediately turned to you and was just like, Get down, Mr. President! Bang, bang! Praise the kind of... Off. What that? Attract. At last, I have the Pokemon equivalent. What's the word, brain? What is the word? My brain's stuck on it, so the Pokemon equivalent of Aphrodisiac. I kind of want to know, what does it even do? What is its function? And what is infatuation? Becomes infatuated if the phone stops doing anything. It recovers after a set amount of turns. And another TM? Shadow Ball. Mm. If the game really does get too infuriating, I might switch to hard, but then that would ruin the series. That's the one thing, when you're just like, I'm going to do this very difficult thing. You really have to be like... Am I ready to commit to this agony? My recommendation would be to grind, maybe. And then if you have to see if you can justify to yourself grinding on lower difficulties, or if that might invalidate the series. Because you already if you already beat a mission and then play it on a lower difficulty to grind. I think that's still in the spirit because you initially beat it, and then it's just like, we know I can beat it. Let me just make it a bit faster, please. <laughs> Let's see. Teaches the move Shadow Ball. Inflicts damage on the target even at a distance. It may also lower the target's special defense. Can I? I can learn it? And what's the diddly D? Info. Hmm. <laughs> Level 50 appears on Zora's domain. Real. Agony. Fear and agony. Even when I, I actually uh, was doing some grinding on uh, 
off stream and got a Blood Moon event that bumped up one of the missions to like level 70. And I was just like, well, I'm like level 50. I'll give it a shot. It wasn't too bad, but at the same time, I had a bunch of upgrades. Doing Zora's Domain at a time when you probably don't have that many upgrades. And ugh, I don't want... I, I hate agony. Wah. Wah. I kind of want to use Shadow Ball on myself. Especially because I know what my evolution will be. Still get two shot by Lionel. Pain. <laughs> Pain indeed. Ah, screw it. I want it. I will forget Quick Attack because I have Shadow Ball now. And rocks. Damn it. <laughs> it avoided my rock. <laughs> it shouldn't avoid my rock. <laughs> Reached destination floor. You will not constrict the salad. Damn it, I've fallen asleep. Please don't go after the client. <laughs> the client is very important. But at least now I have a ranged move that I can throw at enemies from across the aisle. Fear my mighty power. Well, oh, then this will free up my, my space. Yay. Get out of here. <laughs> What are you doing? Can you see this place is on fire? We're all gonna die. Get out of here. Get the fuck out. Hey, kid. Stop all the downloading. What the fuck is with the TMs? It, it's actually a different icon, too. I didn't notice that. That's awesome. Hey, kid. I'm a computer. Stop all the downloading. It's using drugs. Kill the Tangalaw. They're just on a, a murder spree. Will you get out of the way? By the way, the new Pokemon game came out today. Well, it's coming out tomorrow. And then time zones might be at play here. Meh meh. And sadly, my copy doesn't come in until Saturday. Profound sadness. And yep, I'll be streaming that too, because I'm a maniac. And I was like, ooh, I can stream new game for the like first time ever. Mm. And I promise we'll get back to doing Age of Calamity sometime. I promise. If anything, I'll probably try to put in a bit of Age of Calamity. In fact, how about this? So if, uh, th if things are kind tomorrow, I'll stream a bit of Age of Calamity tomorrow as a kind of <laughs> my copy of Age of Ar Legend of Arceus didn't come in. I'm going to lament by murdering thousands of my enemies. <laughs> Too much Pokemon died of cringe. And that's why I'm going to try and throw in a bit more Age of Calamity for you, buddy. We can do some DLC and very hard attempts on old missions. What is with all the TMs? So many goddamn TMs. <laughs> Play on very hard, so instead of murdering thousands, you get murdered instead. It's your turn to suffer. I probably won't go all in on it, but I'll definitely try a few missions on very hard and just see how far into the story mode I can go at my current level on very hard, as well as see what kind of extra rewards there are. Uh, you're a dark type, aren't you? So I don't... Well, Shadow Ball is ghost type, isn't it? Where? Where? Where, Luigi? If you don't die at least 50 times, my self-esteem will drop by 10 times. Well, do understand that it will be very different because 
I am will be playing from a place of, oh, I have a bunch of upgrades. So, like, even if I went into it... Oh, yeah, I forgot I was going to eat a bunch of gummies. I am the dumbest of the dumb. <laughs> yeah, basically, if uh, even if I do go in, uh, like, at the same level, I would still have all these upgrades. So it wouldn't be an even comparison. And plus, I've also been playing the game for longer. And, like, even though, well, at the same time, I'm not sure how many, how much you've played, but you do, were like, I just watched it, and now I shall play it once I get my third capture card working. Which, yay, at least nice to hear that your capture cards are at least not exploding. <laughs> so, just the first-hand experience on top of all the upgrades would make it an uneven comparison. This is my third day of playing. So, yep. I'll have more on-hands experience, and, uh, just the general of actually playing the game, and the upgrades and all that diddly dee dee diddly dee 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 I need that Link box! Link in a box! The hero of Hyrule! Wow! The fifth X combo on Link is very powerful. I think that's the one I use? I forget. I don't really... Ah, uh, that, that's actually going to be a bit painful once I get back into Age of Calamity. I think I'm forgetting the combos. Ever so slightly. Thank you for escorting me to Nidorino. Here's your award. Reviver Seed. Also, Gold Gummy. And 80 rescue points. Went from bronze to silver rank. Yay! Thank you for rescuing me. Thank you for rescuing me. Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. We got so many frickin' TMs at that place. What the hell? The next morning. My home is still under construction. My apples are still missing. Oh, wow! Another earthquake! I guess it settled down. There have been a lot of earthquakes lately. And we all know why that is. Groudon the Bastard. Oh, hi! You're up early, Neon. And if that's correct, you're up early standing outside of my house. It's kind of like that Spongebob me <laughs> scene. In what are you doing? I'm not around! Wait for you to come back! Did you notice the earthquake earlier? It's hard to get decent sleep when there are so many earthquakes. Hey! Hey! Oh, Lombre, what's the matter? We need you at the square! Everyone's gathering there! You're not gonna run us out again, are you? I'm not really sure. Shift Tree's calling everyone out! He's canceling everyone! <laughs> He's getting the other rescue teams to come! Neon, let's go! Remember to stay hydrated. And thank you for Mario LC for getting me to stay hydrated. Wow, we haven't seen these rescue teams before. Stay hydrated one. Stay hydrated two. Stay hydrated three. He's getting the 4K camera. Run! Well, I mean, Gengar already uh, doctored DMs, and I did got uncancelled, so I'm sure everything will be fine. But yeah, we haven't seen these rescue teams before. Wow, look at all the Pokemon! Looks like they sent out to a lot of rescue teams for help. I've seen some pretty famous leaders from faraway places. That Shiftry. I wonder what he's planning to do with all these rescue teams. Can I get everyone's attention here? I, uh, it's not my style to get up in front of everyone like this and... Sorry, this isn't the time for that. There's big trouble! Alakazam's team went underground, but they haven't returned! What? Is that true? Yes, unfortunately. Alakazam led his team underground to quell Groudon. And that's it. We haven't heard anything from them. To be honest, we have no idea what became of them. No idea? How is that possible? This is Alakazam you're talking about. But they haven't come back. This, that's for real! That's right. And it sounds as if Groudon is out of our league. What? 
it's that tough? This Pokemon named Groudon? Why don't you go underground and see for yourself? Huh? You gotta be kidding me! There's magma flowing everywhere around. I'd burn up if I went anywhere like that. Quiet, please! Be quiet! There's no denying that it is dangerous underground. It's not a place where just anyone can go. That's why I asked so many rescue teams to gather today. I propose that a special team be formed by choosing the best of the best. Who will step forward? Who among us will be the heroes to take on the challenges underground? Say, Neon, this is a great opportunity. Let's go. Don't bother, you guys. What's with you? Can you step aside? You guys have gotten a lot tougher, that's for sure. There's plenty of tougher Pokemon out there. Will no one step forward? I'll go. Whoa! It's Blastoise! You mean Team Hydro's Roughneck Blastoise? Those water spouts on his back can rocket f water so fast that it punches through thick iron plates! It's rumored Groudon is a ground type. I'm a water type, strong against the ground type. My hydro pump will put Groudon down in one shot. I'll join the party too. Oh, it's Octillery. She's Team Constrictor's leader. <laughs> what bitrate are you using? <laughs> Neon becomes monochrome. <laughs> My bitrate should be a decent uh, 4,000, I think. And uh, it doesn't say I've dropped any frames, so yay. Bibbidi ba. But yes, she's Team Constrictor's leader. She's known for persistent and clingy attacks. She ensnares foes with her tentacles and headbutts them. She'd be nasty to face in any battle of endurance. Darlings, when I see a tough Pokemon, I want to tangle with them. Say, how about not forgetting about me? Whoa, Golem! That was not a voice for Golem. Got 4K, having 4K bits, easy peasy. <laughs> He's the most brutal of Team Rumble Rock. His body is rock hard. He's supposed to be able to withstand huge explosions without taking damage. If Groudon's awakened underground, that suits me fine. I'll use my rock throw to keep it buried underground. Oh, Blastoise, Artillery, and Golem! No one could complain about your selection. We will have these three rescuers head underground! Yeah, good choice! You're representing us! Make us proud! They really should just send us. We're the main characters, after all. Alright, let's go! Make way for the heroes that will fail because, well, we're not playing them. Win it for us! Save Alakazam's team! See? They look pretty tough, eh? Let them handle things. <sighs> Can't be helped, Neon. I wish we could have gone too, but there's nothing we can do about that. Blastoise's team can take care of things underground. We'll keep doing the best we can in our rescue work. We still need to get more chestnuts. Nuts of the chest. Hello there. I'd like to store some items, please, Mrs. King's Khan. Attract, Torment, Orenberry, Hidden Power, Apple, Pack of Scarf, Link Box, Secret Power, uh, Two Reviver Seeds, Huge Apple, I'll put these items away. Do you want to store anything else? No, thank you, Mrs. Kangaskhan. Well, we've had a bit of story. Any new... Uh, probably not enough for a new maze. But is there any new mazes? I want to beat all your mazes and win. Not even telling me when new ones are going to come around or how many there are that I need to beat to win the prize. Rotten bastard. Do, do, do. You know, we've had um, so many earthquakes lately. Are they signs that something a lot worse is coming? I shudder to think. You bet I'm worried about Alakazam's team. But Blastoise and company are tough. Don't worry now. We'll get the job done. There have been so many earthquakes. I can't get a decent night's sleep. We agreed to let Blastoise's crew handle the situation. Let's give them some time. They're not gonna come back. <laughs> I haven't relaxed from hardening at all. 
I don't think he can move. I can't relax. My whiskers. They tell me of coming earthquakes. And many quakes are indeed coming. Is there a really big earthquake that's going to eat the soul of millions? Any new friend areas, Wiggly? Nope. Even though I ran into so many new Pokemon. Nope, nope. Let's see. I have two Mount Blazes. Ooh, and I think I actually do have a Link Box that I can probably do. Let's see. Ooh, but there is an Uproar Forest. Let's see. One, uh, two Mount Blazes, one Mount Freeze, one's... Uh, diddly -dee. So, Mount Blaze... I'm gonna revive her seat, but I'm gonna take it fucking bastard. And Upper Forest, because if we go to Upper Forest, we can do a full search of Upper Forest looking for chestnuts. And then the Mankey crew will make progress on our diddly dee diddly doe. Actually, before I put away my money, let's see if there's a reviver seed to buy. Always look for reviver seeds, especially because some rotten bastard wants to have me deliver the reviver seed. I'm still upset that you haven't given me a discount for running me out of town. And you found me in a mystery dungeon a million miles away and just like, I can't wait till I get to have your business again. Madman. Madman. Come along, fate. We have a journey to do. To uproar forest. Take the job. What is the job? Yeah, just... <laughs> Cagnia can't swim! Are you sure that's not just a stereotype? Uproar forest! More like... Up yours forest! And, uh... Is my team gonna go murder? Oh boy, here we go murdering again. Oh yeah, and I can do that too, because I have Shadow Ball. Witness my might! Shut up all! And then I'll throw a rock at you. And then I'll throw a rock at you! Rock! <laughs> Quit dodging my bloody rocks, you coward! Uh, you throw one shadow ball at them and they just run away. Oi! You! Get back here! <laughs> Stupid bastard. And I'll grab some of the... I don't like you, because you make me confused. Literally, it's your move. Die. And now we have to be on the lookout for chestnuts. So that we can rule the day. Why pay people money when you can pay people in nuts? Oh, I'm sure we'll run into him eventually. Ninety-nine, nine-nine. You tail with me with your hand tail, you bastard. Yes, make that Venonat cringe. Make them cringe. Because they are cringe. Hunt down. <laughs> it all came full circle. He tried to run, but he could not run. You say run, but you can't run. Do not confuse the boy. <laughs> no, I couldn't save the boy. And and just a shit ton of green grass gummies. Okay, you have the gr green gummy. Uh, well, you know. You take the grass gummy, I'll take the green gummy. Increase our intelligence! Murder that man. Murder that apom. Huh. Well, that's a dead end. Go around the corner. Maybe we need to raise your intelligence. Oh no, the seeds are revolutionizing.
I think I'm just going to go for rocks. Aha! We're unaffected! You can't harden from this. You could have just done that from the start and it would have killed both of them. <laughs> and remember to stay hydrated. Ah, uh, just a blast seed. Blasted blast seed. We don't need you and your kind in our forest. We must march, looking for chestnuts. We do not want blast seed. We want chestnuts. It is our form of payment. To our slaves, I mean friends, the Mankey Gang. Yeah, you just go murder, murder, a seed up. Murder. Don't use bullet seed. Yes, murder. My hit squads go happily into the world, murdering my foes. Cloudy. I wonder what that does. Maybe block solar beam? Kill the a -palm. I guess I'll throw a rock. It makes it easier. Out of the way! I have nuts to find! Shadow Ball. It has little effect. Ah, because it's normal type. Others that aren't normal type take extra damage. Probably so. Venonat probably would get smacked up decent, maybe. I don't know. Well, I was going to test it out, but here you are, dying. Money. You've got to have money. Kill. Kill. <laughs> I'm so strong, I don't even take any damage. Get out of here. Rock. Shadow Ball. How does that feel? Your defense and your special defense, and now I am paralyzed. Help. Help. I am paralyzed. My great runway career. I just hope that I actually find a bloody chestnut. Probably in only one of the later diddly dees. Which also means we should take close notice of the uh notifications to see if anybody picks up a chestnut and they shouldn't have it and then we'll have to hunt them down. My death squad will have to activate. That's either gonna be a reviver seed, but it's probably gonna be a blast seed. Blast it, blast seed. Nobody likes blast seeds. Not even the culinary people. Grass gummy for the grass boy. One of these days I'll accidentally throw a... a blast seed in his face. Hi, I'm Neon, and welcome to Pokemon Jackass. Ah, he tried to confuse me. Blast seed, blast seed, nothing but blasted blast seeds. Kill him! He's attacking from the corners. Kill him. You don't have any chestnuts. You're wasting your bloody... Well, I guess we don't really have anything to... We don't really have a manky gang to fight at the end of here, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. But still, conserve your bullets. 
conservation of jutsu. Used confuse. Oh no, it used the confuse. It confused the use. Bloody coward. Ah, oh, so close. If it was a diagonal kill, it would have been wonderful. Stop running away! Only cowards run and be shot in the back. But when I run, it's a tactical re-maneuvering of the area. I need a chestnut. I need a chestnut to pay my underpaid workers with food. Who can deny food as the best thing to pay with? Besides human skulls, they're just a rarity. Another grass gummy for the grass boy! And the five billion goddamn blast seeds. Learned quick dodger. Does that mean that you're more likely to dodge diddly -dees? Quick dodger. Better at evading attacks and moves. Nice. My boy is becoming intelligent. <laughs> He'll soon see a, be a sentient being. Moving on up to a castle. Moving on, Blizzard. No. Okay, good. It's just snow, not Blizzard. I would hate if it was Blizzard. After all, they got bought by Microsoft. Which means it'll just get worse. Beat up the nipple man. The nipple man is now dead. Everyone rejoiced. Yay! Uh -huh. I didn't get hit by the earthquake because I wasn't in the room. Imagine if that's how real earthquakes worked. Oh no! How does an earthquake miss? Nobody knows. Okay, everybody's just missing everybody here. That's absurd. <laughs> Stop the dungeon! That motherfucker dodged two bullet seed barrages? It dodged 200 points of damage. What a bitch. When I dodge damage, it's a pro gamer move. When an enemy dodges damage, it's a bitch. Will you kindly die? You can tell. <laughs> A part of me wonders if the reason why we don't gather up the rocks that we actually hit enemies with is because they're bloody. And we're just like, no, oh, we can't. It's a murder weapon now. I'll store the energy I'm hit with. It's one shot. No. I, uh, but where's the chestnut? You're not gonna like this. <laughs> you know, I just realized something. Bide would be literally what the worst item to have on a Pokemon that, uh, primarily goes for raising its evasion. Because it only works if you actually take damage. So it would be like... I'm, I'm gonna make it so that you... Oh, hi, Mankey. I guess we have to beat up more Mankeys. Shadow Ball. I even do the pose. The wonderful pose. Well, I guess since we're getting hungry, I can go ahead and eat an apple. And we can take that apple. Take an apple, and then uh, eat an apple, take an apple. They usually think it's like... Uh, Take an apple, leave an apple, but no, you're not getting my apple. It's my apple. No one else can have it. I'm the only one who deserves the apples. Deserves. I suddenly come from New Jersey. Where's the bloody chestnuts? 
Hello, Minky. I can only assume that chestnuts only start to appear on the Mankey levels, because the Mankeys will congregate around the chestnuts, dance to their god, the chestnut god, and be like, Oh, chestnut god, please bring us peeled chestnuts. Okay, you can join. A new member. Hmm. Your name will be... Beryl. You are now Beryl. You will live with this name till the day you die. And if I hear that you try to get out of it, I'm gonna punch you. Here, hold this. Oh, hey, Cacnea. I completely forgot that there was actually a reason we came here. I mean, besides chestnuts. Imagine being like, my saviors have come! And then they look at you and go, oh yeah, somebody was in danger here. Just not. Woo! And because I got lucky, I don't have to, uh, and because I got lucky, I found a chestnut on my first journey here, which means I don't have to. Hopefully I've cut down on how many times I have to revisit this place. How dare you do no damage to me? How dare you dodge that attack? Dodge. It's the newest word on the market. Everyone's using it if they're a moron. And boy, am I not smart. Dodge. Maybe if we kill enough Mankeys, we'll find a dropped chestnut. Get out of here. I'm on a murdering spree. Or maybe there's just like one guaranteed chestnut per visit. That'd be interesting. Dot drew out nature's power and then failed to do anything with it. And now nature will take back its power with interest. In, 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 interest. Language. Rock. Yeah, and this just looks like a turnaround. And Shane was just like, I can't see the team leader. I shall wander around. Rock. Rock. And once again, the boy just went on a journey. Nowhere else to go. At least we got a chestnut. Thank you for saving my friend. He can't swim because he's an idiot. And 60 rescue points. Woo! Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. See you tomorrow. I wonder if they'll be like, Oh no, the <laughs> Blastoise's team is in danger. It's just like, it's been a day. <laughs> Who else will go? It will have to be me. Because I am the special one. I am God. Good morning, Neon. Good morning, Pelipper. The ultimate dungeon challenges you to do your best. Somewhere in the world, there supposedly is an incredibly tough dungeon. One must enter alone at alone at level one and without any items. No one has ever completed the challenge. It is considered a test, not of power, but of intelligence and wits. I knew about that since day one because Wishcash told me, stupid paper. New types of machines discovered. In a recently discovered cave, explorers found unique types of technical machines. They apparently do not break after a single use. Further studies are said to be under consideration by the authorities. In related news, the cave is named the Solar Cave. 
Yo. I have I've got a nut for you. <laughs> Give us the nut! Give us the nut! Yes, a peeled chestnut! All right, you layabouts, get it together! Move, move! Why don't you quit lounging around yourself? Get moving! We'll get on hustling to renovate your rescue team base. And so, supplied with another peeled chestnut, the Menke gang got motivated and returned to work on the rescue team base's renovation. And finally, the rescue team base was completed. Finally, this day has finally arrived. Neon, it's finally ready. Our Shining's rescue team base. It kind of looks creepy. I love it. They even put a tail on my mailbox. That's what Why Not was doing. It's so cool. Every time I take a look at our rescue team base, I only see coolness. And you've never even been inside. You never come into the house that you gave me. <laughs> its resemblance to you is a nice touch, Neon. Well, it wasn't my plan. We all worked very hard. It was very hard, but it was worth it. Wah, Buffett! Everyone, thank you. Say there. There's something I want to ask. If this rescue team base is finished, does that maybe mean you won't bring us peeled chestnuts anymore? <laughs> of course. We're finished with the work on our rescue team base. To our Mankey gang, sincerely, thank you for everything. <laughs> what? Leave my home alone! What are you doing? Stop that! <laughs> we have to beat them up. <laughs> As a result of everyone's desperate efforts to stop the Menke Gang, the rescue team base was saved. As for the Menke Gang, they promised to keep from rampaging. In return for more peeled chestnuts, they returned to their forest. And that is how the chaotic renovation of the rescue team base came to an end. The next morning... It looks so nice. I still don't have my apples, though. But I do have water. And apparently there's a map of the world! Goal! I can't even go up to my own balcony. Good morning, Neon. It's Pelipper, bringing us more news from around the world. Check mail, Mount Blaze, Frosty Forest. Train at the Makahuta Dojo. I've already completed all their dojo stuff and there's nothing left for me to do. Study tight matchups at the Mak uh, Makuhita Dojo. At the Makuhita Dojo, one can learn how Pokemon tight matchups affect battles. It's because the dojo's training rooms are divided by type. For example, in the Fire Maze, there are only fire type Pokemon. Try move types to see what works best. Or, you know, we can just murder everyone that comes in our way. Mount Freeze, Mount Blaze. Well, I do have a Mount Blaze that I need to do. I can't seem to get out. Well, that sounds like it's bad for you. My base is finished, it looks like me. I live inside my own head. Oh God! Ah! Truly the worst fate. Let's see. Huge apple, well I guess we wanna keep one apple. Wait, I just realized, in the solar cave, does that mean that they found HMs? <laughs> we found HMs. Oh no, oh no. Anything else? Nope, same dialogue. Hey, Makuhita, there were... You were in the news. You got anything new for me? It says, come train here. Nope. All the mazes are still done. Ah! Ah! Scream! This is the Felicity Bank. Take more of my money. I am rich. I almost have 20,000. <coughs> Let's take a look. Deliver one aerial ace. Well, I think I have one. 
and it'll give me Reflect. <laughs> it's my mom's favorite. Please let me know if you find it. Great Canyon, Great Canyon, Two Mount Steels. Let's see. I have a bunch of Mount Blazes. I kind of want to take, uh... Oh, wait. And wasn't there another Frosty Forest in my Diddly? So, since I have an Aerial Ace and I don't have any Aerials, I'll go ahead and take this, because this might just give me a lot. All right. I'll go ahead and... grab Fate. And then we're gonna go and do Mount Blaze. <laughs> Come along, my boy, Fate. We have a journey to Mount Blaze, that place that we had to go through that was hell. La 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 la. Take the job. Oh, we need a link box. We need a link box. That reminds me, need to grab a link box. Need a link box. Need a link box. Feed box, feed box, sleep box, link box. I want to take the Link Box. Link Box. Link Box. With the power of the Link Box, we shall annihilate our foes. We'll put them in the box, and then we will put that box into another box, and then we'll put that box into a bigger box, and then we'll mail that box to ourselves, and then we'll <laughs> smash it with a hammer. We have to journey all the way out here. Remember when this is just like, I can't believe anybody would come in here. Now we have to rescue idiots in here. But we've probably grown so strong that the people in here, well, Pokemon, won't pose that much of a challenge. At least until we get to the peak. Hey, a pink gummy. And, uh... Wait. Actually, you know what? We haven't given you a gummy in a while, dude. Here, take the silver gummy. And since we got so many grass gummies, I'll eat this gummy. Love the music. You think, once again, returning to my, if I ever made a comic based off of my playthrough, this would be the moment where the team leader would have a bit of a... bit of a PTSD flashback, because it's just like being back here at Mount Blaze after facing... <laughs> after all that fugitive stuff. It's just like, yeah, we're here to just do our job, but being back here after so long brings back the worst nightmares. Makes me think I'm back on the run again. Wow, super effective, only did two damage. We are too powerful. No, no, don't go. Save the day. We need other people to try first. That basically is what it feels like. And uh, I just noticed that there is lava coming out of the walls. Like, yes, I know, I noticed it before, but I didn't actively note it. And it looks cool. It's a cool effect. Although, it would be kind of creepy walking through these corridors that are barely you big. And you're like, one small step and I'll have lava eating at my shoulder. Not fun. Hell, if you're... Isn't lava one of those things that if you're close to it, you're basically... I didn't bring... Aerial Ice was for a different place, yeah. Um, at least I think so. I hope so. Yeah, Aerial Ice was for a different dungeon. <laughs> it was the Link Box that we needed. My brain just noted, wait. <gasps> Aerial Ice was a thing we're doing, and I'm still kind of... <gasps> and I, I'm the one having a, a flashback of horror to the time that we went to Mount Thunder just to... <laughs> deliver the bloody taunt TM and get a friend area only for me to forget to bring the bloody TM 
Oh, that was painful. It honestly feels like a thing that would happen in an actual story. Return! I wonder how that would work. Fold in on yourself. Quantum mechanics. You can throw rocks at me all you want, but I'll throw sand inside you, and it will melt because you are a lava slug. And you will scream because you'll feel it. The itching of the sand under your self. Rock. 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 I'm here to fight off natural disasters. I'm here to murder anything in my way. Let's move on. Let's get schmoovin'. Shadow Ball. My power's overwhelming. Power overwhelming. If I were a fire type, I could just walk across the lava. And if Shane was smart, he would stop using his gun feature so much. Where did you even come from? Lol, you missed. I'm gonna throw a rock at you. Now you're dead. How does that feel? How does that make you feel? You're dead. <laughs> You're dead, idiot. You got killed by a grass type. How does that make you feel, idiot? <laughs> Once again, I pressed the thing, but I did not do it because I pressed it at the wrong time. Yay, fate leveled up! And learned a new move! Swords Dance. Info. Boost the use of attack by two levels. Honestly, since it's a buff to himself, it won't be that good because he'll use it at times where it won't help and he'll just waste it. And then when we actually are at, are at a boss fight, he won't really do anything with it. Whereas Leer, he'll actually try and use it a lot more and might actually do things with it. A gray gummy. For what purpose does it do? Rock type. Oh well. I'm rock hard, so I'll go ahead and eat it. Yum. I don't think I've seen anybody dislike a gummy so far in this game. Kill the slug. Kill the slug of lava. You didn't even need to do that. Next move would have killed it. You idiot. Level 29. I shall use Shadow Ball, because I think you're ugly. Aren't you water type? What are you doing here? Chuckle should be a water type, so yeah, what the hell is it doing here? Yeah, that just leads to a dead end. <laughs> In this moment, this is just fate once more, listening to the winds of destiny going, if I don't kill this Magby, a disaster will happen. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, little one. Crushes a Magby. Slices it in half with his horn. Oh boy! Another return! It, a frustration! These later levels just love throwing frickin' TMs at me. It's almost concerning. Alright, and that's just a bunch of dead ends. 
Kill the, tackle the probably thousands of degrees hot slug. And fate killed a camel. Good job, fate. Killed a camel. We're proud of you. Wasn't a thunder camel, but we're still proud of you. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's five billion of them. Everyone says that some evolution came from the primordial ooze. In actuality, it came from lava. I leveled up. All right, I leveled up. For just a few minutes, Shane was just like, now I'm the older one. I don't think biting a literal lava slug is a smart idea. I'm being burned! I'm being burned! And there's a royal gummy, aka the dragon gummy. Why didn't they just call gummies by their type names? Oh no, it's a black gummy, so it's a ghost type. Eh, it looks purple, and purple is the royal one. Why do they reuse colors? Oh, dark type. Kill the camel. It says its name is Numel. I don't believe it. I know a camel when I see one, and this one will die. Carve out its soul. Fate became a whiffer. That sounds weird. What the hell is a whiffer? Is it like a swiffer? I don't like it. I don't trust it. Sounds creepy. This is the wide open cave of stairs. There's one set of stairs over there. Get the hell out. <laughs> get the hell out. Oh, won't you get the hell out? Will you get the hell out if I give you all of these, these 500 elephants? Time to conquer all of Af uh, India. Most of India. We will continue our journey. Yes. Once again, returning to my rambles of Pokemon, wars in the Pokemon world with humans must have been absolutely insane, considering there were literal dragons, and just like all these other Pokemon that they could just ride into battle, or, like I said with Lieutenant Surge, use as landmines and under current military law would have been legal because, while yes, they are autonomous and detonate on their own, they can tell who they're going to blow up. They're intelligent. We shall eat an apple. Apple. Quit picking up my money. It's my money, and you don't get to have it, and we left Shane behind. God damn it. This is what happens when you take corners. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. I don't know where the Rapidash was going. It went this way, and then it went that way, and then it went this way. And now you're gonna die. 66. The number of the least. You dare growl at me? I punch you with my face. Now I'm imagining a, an alien species whose face is on their fist. So they literally have to punch you with their face. I can take it. Take the poison through my veins. I know Shadow Ball. <laughs> and he knows Bullet Seed. 
And his special is probably higher than mine. It also helps that I gave him a special band. And we're still not at a destination floor. What wonders never yeast? We just gotta go through. Gotta go super fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, 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 faster. Meow, Running at the speed of sound and the fastest hedgehog around. Got ourselves a situation. And locked in a new location without any explanation. No time for. Uh, what's the word? Ah, it's been five billion years since I've heard that song. Can't remember all the lyrics. <laughs> Gotta go, 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 Sonic is on the run. Sonic is number one. Sonic, you better watch out, watch out, watch out for Sonic X. Wow, you had so much health left, yet you're just like, I have to run away. I have to run away. Ah! Now I know where the what's its name, the ponytail that was heading up the fire maze, got its cowardly instincts from. It was you. Sure, you might not be related, but you might as well be, because you're ugly. An ugly bastard. The bastardest of ugliness. The most hideous fiend to ever found. Hey. Roar. Now he can send people flying into their friends to death. That's like, imagine getting thrown at your friends so hard you both die. The ultimate horror villain, the Yeeter. Legend has it, if you anger him, he'll pick you up and yeet you into your friends until everyone is dead. He'll make you immortal, and then throw you at your friends over and over again until you're all dead. Torku! Die! So this is where all the TMs were hiding. Uh, not sure what percentage of the game. Uh, kind of middle? Feel like kind of middle works. Shadow Ball. Sand in your eyes. Face in your face. Let's -a go. Ah, good. For a moment, I think I forgot how many missions we took. Great, this one's just a bunch of tunnels. I shall shadow ball you, and you will die, and I will smile, and you will cry. Your family will be like, how could this happen? And I will be like, because it is. And I will laugh. And I wasted my huge apple. Profound sadness. I did not bring enough apples for this. When you try your best, but you don't succeed. That basically, that basically sums up my entire morning. <laughs> Quit chasing him around, Shadow Ball! And now Rock! And now another Rock! And now another rock. He'll get to the right one eventually. You keep. You, he was already half dead. You don't need to gun him down, too. Whoop! 
do not burn the Eevee. I mean, I know I'm hot, but come on. This is getting ridiculous. Hello. I have found you. And now, with the magical powers that have been blessed by this radiation, you can teleport away. And once again, I don't know how many missions I have left, so we shall run. Run away. There we go, it was the last floor anyway. Thank you for rescuing me. I got $600. You notice that we're rescuing mostly fire types from Mount Blaze? Well, there was Tangela. Tangela makes more sense. Ish. Thank you for rescuing my wife. Didn't we do good? Let's call it a night. See you tomorrow. Woohoo! Woohoo! The day of wonder has come to murder again. The next morning. Doesn't that only happen when story stuff happens? Another earthquake! It's gonna ruin my newly built home! There have been so many quakes lately. I guess that means that Blastoise is dead. I wonder when they'll settle down. Hey, this is the first time you've ever come into my house. Hi, Shane. What are we gonna do on the bed of hay, Shane? Neon, there's a commotion down at the square. A lot of Pokemon have already gathered there. Let's go to the square right now. Oh, Lombre, what's going on here? Hey, Shane, well... You should just see for yourself. Well, they dr at least they dragged themselves back. Look, it's Blastoise! Shiftree, what happened here? They were wiped out in the underground dungeon. You're kidding. Uh, that place, it's rough. Seriously. We couldn't get far enough to even see Groudon. I don't want to ever go back to a place like that. It appears the dungeon underground is far worse than we imagined. <laughs> Why are you coming down from Wishcash Pond? What fools! That's what you get for trying the impossible! G Gengar! What do you say? It's only expected that we try. This is for saving Alakazam's team! <laughs> you really find thinking hard, don't you? Even they look smart compared to you. Much even Blastoise went down. It's gonna be awful tough. Who'd want to go into a dungeon that dangerous? There's no way. I can't go. I burn too easily. I can't take earthquakes. It'd be like going and knowing full well we'd get wiped. Everyone. You see, even they finally seem to understand their situation. <laughs> I, my leafy fans would burn up. Even shift tree. <laughs> Get over it! Don't expect to be rewarded just because you try. Sometimes it's better to wise up and give up! Huh? Did I say something profound? <laughs> uh, Neon, I don't know what to I don't know anymore. What should we do? Even if it's the impossible, should we still try and rescue Alakazam? I am the main character. Let us go. Yes, I think so too. Okay, Neon. Everyone listen. We're going to rescue Alakazam's team. W what? What did they say? <coughs> hey, who are they? Can't say I know them. It's Team Shiny. They're well known, around, well known around these parts. Team Shiny? You mean the lot that was suspected of involvement in the Nine Tails legend? I heard about that. Weren't they living like fugitives until recently? Can they handle it? They don't look very tough. It's true. The rescue might be too much for us to handle. But we're still a rescue team. 
to help Pokemon suffering from the natural disasters, that's why we started up our rescue team. That's why I want to rescue Alakazam's team more than anything. Never giving up. That's where Team Shining stakes its pride. I mean, for God's sakes. We literally had Alakazam's team hunt us down across the entire continent. If anybody knows about not giving up, it's me. Kah. Kah, kah, kah. You really aren't very bright, are you? Why don't you do like everyone else and wise up? No. Shane is right. Okay. That's right. I wasn't thinking straight. Out of fear. Kah, 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 kah. We all forgot the most important thing. We're rescue teams. Pride. We have it too. Pride is rescuers. Have you lost your senses? Why would you listen to that clown? And worse, be persuaded. Why go if you're facing sudden defeat? Is that so? We've only failed once. Blastoise. This is no time to be lying around. <laughs> yes, no more wallowing and woe is me, self-pity. If we give up, that's how it ends. Not for me. Octillery and Golem too. <laughs> you lot, that wasn't the tune you were whistling just a little. Aye, that's right. They've got the ways we can get through. If we all pull together, we'll be sure to find a way. We'll conquer the dungeon by having all the rescue teams cooperate. Roar! <laughs> Are you dreaming? Don't say I didn't warn you when you get into a world of pain. <laughs> and they just went back to the Wishcat pond. Thank you, Shane. You stopped us from throwing away the most important thing we have. One of the deadly seven sins. Pride. My thanks from all of us. Everyone, it's time to get to work. Let's show them what we rescue teams are really about. Roar! We were held up by that trouble of Gengar, but now we're getting the chance to go to the underground dungeon. We're not leaving until tomorrow, but I'm jumpy with anticipation. Let's spend today getting ready for the dungeon. Let me know when you're all ready to go. I'll quickly go set things up in the town, talk to people. Huh, I think this is the first time that I've been alone. Sheen, oh. I missed out on things she was saying. I always thought you weren't the ordinary sort. I'll keep your valuables under what my, arch, my watchful eye. You can go out and fight without worrying about them. I have many things I'd like to store. Like return, this special band, Royal Purple Roar. So many gummies. And let's see. Why do I have two power bands? Did I not give one? I'll keep them on me until I can give things properly. No, because he would have caught it. So yeah. Honestly, since we're going into a super dungeon, we'll need uh, to keep things pretty decent. So we're going to need apples. I'll take some apples with me. And some reviver seeds, because you can't be too careful. And uh, some apples. We'll take three apples, and with the stamina band, that should keep us going through most of the dungeon. Oh my goodness, yes, Shane's talk was such an inspiration. It has stoked a raging fire in our hearts. I'll keep bringing in fine merchandise. This I do for you, so... Hello! Welcome to the Kesslyon shop! <laughs> it's 
especially the part about taking pride. That made me, it left me choked up. It isn't just you, my brother. I am likewise inspired beyond words. Brother, my brother. Brother, my brother. Tell me what are we fighting for? Tell me how to end this war. Reflect and rest. I think I have both of those. Well, I don't, maybe I don't have rest, but maybe not. What's it like, this magma cavern? It was teeming with tough Pokemon, that's for sure. I'm strong against fire, but that place is special. Oi, you lot shouldn't go. The magma cavern is alive with flames. You'll be burned up. We can't do that. We're a rescue team too. We can't stand by idly. This, the Magma Cavern. Above all, there were many Fire-type Pokémon. Fire-type? I think they would burn me up in no time. But no, I must make excuses for myself. Now's the time for each and every one of us to make a stand. And I mean, Shane is <laughs> Grass-type. He's going to. Several Beckham teams have already left for the Magma Cavern. Neon, you guys take care too. Neon, please take care. We'll be okay. We'll try not to be scared of the quakes. I'll do my best to harden myself. Isn't that what got you frozen in place <laughs> in the first place? Your words in the square struck me to my heart. You heard that all the way from here? I shouldn't be panicking. I have the ability to sense quakes. I must remain calm. It appears I've learned something from you, youngsters. I just love this story. It's so nice and simple, but it works. I'll do my best to get more friend areas because Neon's team are all my friends. Friends are my treasures. Welcome to the Wigglytuff Club. But you still don't have any more friend areas for me to buy, and I have so much money. Aren't you remarkable? Your money will be jealously guarded, so feel secure on your outing. 20,000! 20, 20 thousand <laughs> We'll go ahead, grab fate. Fate and retreat, and you see, when you're laying all alone in the dark, never knowing what is real, in the shadows you peek. I forgot. Need to see if you actually have it, just to make sure. Summary. Yep, you did have a power band. This entire time. You can have it back. Don't know I was why well, I had two. I was just being very dumb. But I think that will be it for now. I would like to save my adventure. I forgot you could do that. <laughs> But yes, I do believe that that will do it for now. We've been going for a decent amount of time, and I want to also prepare because I have to get up early tomorrow because life stuff! Mwah! But while I do my outro and talk about the things that happened this episode, take a look at this. It's currently a work in progress, but it is the art that I made today. Mainly the sketch background and stuff. I'm still learning how to do proper diddly dees but I'm mostly also trying to just have fun with art and be like, make mistakes and learn as I go. See what makes things look nice and stuff. Beepity beepity beep. And uh, eventually there will be an Eevee and a Rialu by the river. So that will stay there. It's just like, because I like it. I think, uh, especially because I made that all in one day. So even though some things are kind of wonky, I think, I think I did decent enough. Uh huh. But as that, uh, that'll stay there as I go over the outro and end stuff as usual. Today, what did we do today? We finally got that friend area mission out of the way. We went and uh, <laughs> went to Mount Thunder because we got like two Mount Thunder missions. One for the deliver the TM taunt and another just to go rescue someone. And then I forgot to bring the TM Taunt on the first round, so we had to go back, fin be finish the entirety of Thunder Mountain, go back, grab the TM, and do Thunder Mountain again. I also beat the remaining 
uh, well, remaining, the newest additions to the maze dojo. <coughs> Don Throat Tickle! Ah! But yes, because uh, fire, normal, psychic, ground, and dragon mazes were added to the dojo, and we beat those up good. And uh, now we still have to wait for Makuhita to add more so we can eventually beat them all and get the magical reward. I'm super annoyed that it is here. He's just like, what will be added? When will they be added? No one knows. Maybe after we beat Groudon. Well, time will only tell. But let us see. Delete. And then we went to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was kind of a minor thing. Why not and Wobbuffet came through and just like, hi, we. <laughs> Uh, could someone go beat up the Mankey gang in our home because they're just going crazy? And then we did, and then we got paid in a chestnut, and then the Mankeys came for revenge only to be like, Oh, chestnut! <laughs> and then we decided that, hey, what we can do is build me a, a base that looks like my face. It looks kind of creepy. It looks kind of cool. It's just kind of silly all around, and I love it. I don't know why it took so long. It took multiple days of work. Well, I guess it makes sense because it is technically a house, and it's bigger on the inside. Uh, not to mention, the ears must have taken a lot of work. <laughs> but, yep. And then after realizing that without work, there won't be any more chestnuts from us, the Minkies tried to destroy it, only to be like, okay... Okay, fine. You'll get more chestnuts in the future to placate your rage. Also, I just realized. A flag that's shaped like my tail. Adorable. But, uh, yep, and then it was just the announcement that Blastoise and his impromptu team would go down to save Alakazam, and then they got walloped. They managed to come back, so that's nice. <laughs> but now... Everyone is going, including me, the protagonist. But that will be saved for another time. Uh, what time will that be? I don't know, because next time will probably be... Diddly D, Age of Calamity, because we've taken a bit of a break from it, and it will just be nice to do. And uh, then the day after on Saturday, my copy of Pokemon Legends Arceus should come in, and I'll really want to play that. And then the real challenge will come in. What do I want to interchange? At least this will give me a lot of time to grind the Hades Cup and look for things I need to do in <laughs> uh, Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. But then the real question will be, what will take precedence? Pokemon Legends Arceus or Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team? The real answer will probably be how much I enjoy Pokemon Legends Arceus and like how much the gameplay loop and the story and the world and stuff really captivate me. Because the one main reason why I love Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is because the world and characters just grab me. Not to mention, you actually play as the damn Pokemon. That's fun. But I just love it because... Like, it focuses more on story to a degree. Because the gameplay loop is so simple but satisfying. So it will really depend on how Legends Arceus ingratiates itself to me. Which will be... will begin on Saturday, depending on when it gets here on Saturday, which is two days from now. But otherwise... Da -da -da -da, I think that's it. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I've been Neon Ice Wings. This has been Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. Love this damn game. If you want more from me, I have an edited content YouTube channel that I post to Once in a Blue Moon, Neon Icy Wings, and a, a gaming channel, Neon Icy Games, where the uh, archives of these streams go up. So if you want to catch up on previous stream series like Pokemon Yellow, Crystal, and... Uh, I know there was another one. Oh yeah, Undertale. I beat Undertale, and it's already up all, th all there. And uh, in fact, I think the last finale for Pokemon Yellow went up not that long ago. But if you're one of those people that are watching one of these archived streams from Neon Icy Games, then you can watch me play these games live on Twitch.tv Neon Icy Wings. I usually begin my stream sometime around 5 to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then I go anywhere between 2 to 3 hours, maybe more, depending on how I feel that night. 
And then if you want certain things from me, like art, I post to Twitter and Newgrounds and Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner, and DeviantArt. So you can find me there. Also, another art site that's up and coming called uh, Buzzly.art. It seems decent-ish. I'm checking it out. It seems interesting. But yeah, if you want edited content, gaming content, or art, you can catch me around. But anyways, I've been Neon Icy Wings, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>